Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this beautiful blue purple makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with a lavender cool tone eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my crease. And I do like to take my time with this because I do like to get the intensity of the color. So I go ahead and apply this a few times until I am happy. I also forgot to mention I did apply an eyeshadow base. I am using Gerard Cosmetics eyeshadow base and I'll list it down below. You can use code Pretty Grace for some money off. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this shadow until I'm happy with the placement and how blended and pigmented the shadow gets. So I'm just going to go back and forth a few times and apply this shadow. After I'm happy with that, I'm going to go with a dark blue shadow and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my eye. If you're scared to do this, you can definitely use tape to apply it in the outer corner just to give you that kind of wing. I'm kind of used to it already, so it's a lot easier, but there's some times where I'll still use the tape trick just to get that wing really sharp. I also forgot to mention, you can use any eyeshadow palette that you have. I actually use Beauty Base 48 bright color palette i don't know i'll list it down below for you guys they sent it to me like last year or something like that so i've been loving that palette and i've been using it so yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that blue shadow um and then i just go back and blend everything just to make sure that everything looks the way that i want it then i'm going with this baby blue shadow and applying this right to the inner corner to the midway where i stopped the blue shadow and i'm just gonna blend those together that blue, that baby blue has a little bit of sparkle, so it looks really pretty. I really like that shadow. So I'm just going to go back and reapply that, perp that blue, sorry, <laughs> just to make sure that it's as intense as I want it and it's where I want it. And then I'll go back with that same blue again and just kind of darken it and kind of blend those two to those colors together. So I'm going back with that purple uh, lavender color and just kind of blend everything just to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. I like to blend my colors a lot just to make them look like they're one. I don't know how to explain it, but I really love blending my colors out. So like here, I'm just going back with that same blue and just kind of blending it into the baby blue. And I'm, I'm going to stop saying baby blue because I feel like I keep saying baby blue a lot. Okay, we're stopping that. All right, then I'm going to go with the white shadow and just kind of blend everything just to make sure that um, my brow bone is brightened and everything looks smooth. I do go back again with that lavender color. Like I said, I do blend my colors, especially if I'm doing bright colors. I like to blend a lot. Even if I think I already blended enough, I go back and blend just to make sure because I don't really like when my shadows are not really nice and blended. So, yeah. As you guys can see, I'm just blending away. So it was an easy look. Then I'm going to go with my mascara. I believe this is from Milk Makeup Mascara. And I'm going to use this liner. I have no idea who gave me this liner, but yeah. And my lashes are from Bold Face. I'll list everything down below. And I just kind of like to apply those like really like make sure that the outer corner are sticking up because it gives me like that cat eye. Then I'm going with a silverish color and apply this in the inner corner and using that same shadow, applying it in the bottom lash line. Then using the lavender color in the bottom outer corner. Then I'm going to go with a little bit of that dark blue and kind of make that a little bit smoky as you guys can see. Like I'm just going to smoke it out. Nothing crazy, you know, just kind of a little bit. Going back with that same mascara, I'm just going to apply to the bottom lashes. I really like the lip color that I was wearing, but it was just a lip plumper. So here I'm using uh, Morphe's lip liner. I'll list it down below. And then I'm using Buxom's, um, I believe it's Buxom's um, lipstick. I will list it down below. Yes, it is Buxom. I'll list it down below. And then I feel like it was too brown, so I decided to uh, apply a little bit of concealer in the center just to kind of give it that, you know, ombre type thing. And yeah. Sorry, I had to fast forward this because it was too slow. And then some setting spray from Milk, Mil Milk Makeup. This is like the holy grail for me. And yeah. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.